What's up guys, should be welcome back to the video and to this video I'm having this a uh, smart watch that's cost that cost me only ten bucks. And this is from some Chinese manufacturer. The basic name that people say is is GT08, GT08. And now holding it in hand, it does feel very heavy. Heavy. You got in this thing in different colors. I got the old gold one. And yeah, you have the touch screen over here, a camera over here, and a digital crown which is for powering this thing on and going to the home screen from any other app. Yeah, that's what this thing does over the side. Uh, you got the micro USB port for charging and data syncing. This is just as normal as you get on a charger on your mobile phone. Actually, it might be tricky sometimes to open this thing up. Finally, managed to open this thing up. The micro USB port. Switching over to the back. Uh, there we have the battery over here. There we have the battery of the smartwatch and beneath the battery you're getting a slot for the micro SD card because that's a very important thing in the smartwatch without the micro SD card you can't really do much and there we have the sim card slot in there I popped in a sim card and this thing only works with 2G connectivity as high as it goes no 4G actually higher you can the highest that this thing can go is to about 3G no 4G connectivity going on in there, no LTE support that's something to note and while closing the back you got a note some watches are in this thing if you close this side first and then it's not gonna work so you have to close this side of the battery first and then that side now let's power the phone watch on it does take a time but yeah it's fast it's my watch and then you're in and other than that, I mean, for the SIM card, I won't recommend you going with the SIM card on this thing. Or, uh, with the SIM card, what you can basically do is call and calling, not something great on this thing. Now, I've got, so other than that, you got Bluetooth. There are tons of apps on this thing, yeah, but it's going to be an, another video make, talking about all that. But I'm going to be speaking about some of the basic apps that you get on this thing. You get in uh, Bluetooth calculator calendar music player built into it and this thing also has speakers so that's a great thing micro uh, voice recorder camera a uh, camera it's about 0.2 megapixels basically the worst camera I've ever seen on a smartwatch or something I have ever seen yeah but still under good luck if you're standing somewhere there where there's good light light is good you can actually do something with it now let's check the quality of the speaker let's pump the volume up so guys I've got the, some NCS going on in there in my smartphone so let's try to bump up the volume And the sound which you heard right now was from the main speakers of the watch. It's actually very good. Uh, uh, it's uh, even it's uh, evenly audible and it can be easily heard in the whole room. Other than that, other than that, you're also getting store contacts on your smartwatch. Got some in there. And yeah, that was all. And by far, it's very frustrating to type on this thing. So. Using the SIM card in practical is something you just don't want to do with this thing. But yeah, it's still good for 10 bucks. You can't really complain. You're getting a small screen, but still for 10 bucks you can't really complain about this thing. Yeah, you're not paying about thousand bucks that you complain. Yeah, the camera is not good. But yeah, you're gonna use this as a watch. The screen of this thing is also of not much good quality. I would say yeah, it's okay for the price. You're getting 240 by 240 pixels on this thing with an LCD backlighting which can go all the way to very bright which can be easily seen under 
uh, direct sunlight and yeah you can adjust the channel for a second and I'm always keeping this to 5 yeah but keeping the 5 does not affect the battery life either it's still good you're getting uh, yeah you can actually do a lot of stuff using your smartwatch and not hurting your phone like uh, creating uh, kind of like calling on this thing you can actually call someone and then it's going to be asking you how to do the call you're going to call by bluetooth phone smartphone that if you got to have same not into this in the smartphone you can do that as well but if you got a same in there you can just locally call that one and yeah what's that so actually the battery died on this thing let me just put the thing in the chart of this thing running out of battery this thing is having a battery of 380 which is enough for keeping this on for three days straight three days and if you do it with very heavy uses the battery life may get down to about two days average is about one day no so no sorry average is about two days and but very light uses the battery is about two, three days straight and that's a good point of this thing having this thing uh, so I guess that was all for this video. If you end up liking this one, hit the like button, subscribe to Rishal's my daily YouTube channel, and it's me Rishal signing off for today's video. And